problem with the baby, uh, Mark. <laughs> Peruvio seemed to embarrass Donald Trump a little bit uh, by actually knowing foreign policy. Trump clearly didn't have any idea what he was talking about and said he'll learn it when he's in office. Well, he decided he's going to go correct that and uh, appear on CNN and strike back against Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio uh, wants to tell every single thing that he knows to everybody Thank so you. that the people on the other side, so that the enemy can learn all about. I want to be unpredictable. Mission accomplished. You're definitely unpredictable. <laughs> and this is, by the way, the same old thing that so many Republicans have used in other races as well. Oh, I've got a brilliant foreign policy. Of course, I'm not going to tell you now. No, that that would be telling the enemy. He goes all the way back to Richard Nixon. He did the same thing. Yes, yeah, because you don't have a policy. Okay, you have no strategy. Oh, believe me, it'll be brilliant. You're a dumb dumb and I'm great. Let's continue. I know more about Syria than Marco Rubio knows about Syria. I know about us beating ISIS and us knocking out ISIS or trying to knock out ISIS, and yet ISIS wants to go against Assad. And Assad, frankly, is looking at us and saying, I can't believe it. The Americans are killing my enemy. This is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Thank Look, I understand wanting to be unpredictable with the enemy and not telegraph to them. Well, no, exactly. but when I start talking, talking to them, wants to know answers. But Mr. Trump, and I'll give answers generally because you have to do that, unfortunately. Yes, to get voters. Elected. I mean, voters but, but want to I know, know what your strategy I know more is. About, don't forget, Allison, and you remember this. I was the one that said, don't go into Iraq. And that was in 2003 and 2004. In 2003, somebody asked him after the war began, how are things going? He said, it's a mess. That's all he said. But that's what he says about everything. So what he's actually referring to is an interview he did in July of 2004, 16 months after the war began, when everybody knew it was a colossal mess. And he's like, guys, it's not going well. It's just a mess. I, you know, I don't know about this war. Wow, how very, very bold. But if you actually listen to his answer there, he seemed to be saying we shouldn't bomb ISIS. That's an interesting point for Republicans to make, because he's saying Bashar al-Assad, who is the dictator in charge of Syria, is against ISIS, and he's thanking us for killing his enemies. So I guess we shouldn't be doing that. Really? Somebody should press him on that. Uh, it's, it's a very interesting point, and it might be defensible, but I'd like to hear more from Donald Trump on his ideas about that and what kind of bombing or, uh, we should or shouldn't do. But my favorite part was in the middle. He's like, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, because of the democracy thing, I, I'm supposed to tell people what my foreign policy is. Unfortunately. Right. Okay, let's, let's do one more. Break. Yeah, but how do you now know, know more about Syria than Marco Rubio? Look, Marco Rubio's behind a desk sometimes, and he reads stuff. He's in, you know, committees. So uh, that's all he does. I create jobs all day long. <laughs> Marco Rubio reads. That's why he knows stuff. Yeah, I guess that's kind of true. <laughs> I'm out there creating jobs. That's why I know so much more about Syria. Logic not required. Here's what Donald Trump knows about foreign policy. Dick. 